Hey everyone, Corinne Hineberry here with the Red Carpet Report. Tonight we are in West Hollywood at Netflix's premiere of One Day at a Time. Nice to meet you. The show stars, I must say. Yes, it's very... The runners of the show. Yes. The most important aspect of the show. Well, well... Tell it's, them. It's, it's pretty important. I told them all already. It's pretty important. If not, they'd be gorgeous people going like... It feels like someone wrote that for you. Yeah, you know, we all play a role. Me as the viewer, you as the runners, them as the actors, we're all in it together, right? Yes, yes, that's right. Well, congratulations thus far. I'm so happy for you guys. This is such an exciting, exciting time. I find that it's such a, a special message behind this as far as just family and even like the display of generations. Um, what, what has that process been like for you as the runners of the show and your ideals and everything behind that? Uh, you go. You want me to go? Yeah. All right. I mean, uh, this is a very personal story for both of us. So uh, I think that being able to create every week based on things that are happening in our real life is incredibly satisfying. And especially in this political climate, to be able to be representing an American family that looks the way this family looks and can invite people sort of into my living room and Mike's living room uh, and share our feelings about things is really empowering. Yeah, it's great. This is an American family that's not on television, you know, and so it's different but the same. And it's like we're bringing all this stuff from our own lives and families into uh, putting them in these characters. And because it's a Norman show, we're we're allowed to really get very emotional with it and sometimes talk about you know issues that affect the family. And um, it's been a very uh, I'm going to say the word rich experience. All right, it was yeah, been a very yeah. rich experience, but I mean that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. me too. For sure. I mean, to have that come to life and to now sit back and view it must be so epic. I, I can't even. Yeah. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Yeah, a year and a half ago, we were sitting across from each other in Norman's uh, lobby, going like, "Writing oh, you, huh? Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Let's we'll try do to it. Make it work. We'll do this. We'll try to do it. <laughs> what is it that you do outside of the work zone? Like, what's something that um, inspires you or, or even aids in your creation? You know, really hanging out with my family. I really like them. I know that's a <laughs> weird thing to say, but I really like them. I love my kids. My parents are, I'm very close to my parents and they're over almost every day. And so I'm very enriched and inspired by being with them. And then luckily enough, it leads to great stories. Because <laughs> crazy things happen. Yes. Yes, I've, I've gone, uh, uh, I don't like my family. Uh, <laughs> But I think that's I've been able to bring that to the table. No, uh, this has been the first show. Ways of the world, yes. Yeah. No, so it all, it, this is the first show where like my kids directly are the they're not anymore, but are basically the age of the kids on the show. I was on Everybody Loves Raymond for a long time, but my kids were younger, and they, you know it was a different thing. So it's been really interesting to sort of you know you watch them, put them in a little aquarium and watch them and uh, and see how they behave and bring the bring the behavior into. Uh, into some of these characters that we have on the show. So it's in a way it's been the most close experience I've had with a, you know, characters and family and, and all in one. Yeah. Amazing. One last question. When when you are coming up with these ideas and because they're so close to home as you were just discussing, do you find that you have to sit yourself in a quiet space or in solitude or is it like in the middle of shopping and you have an idea and you oh, like I text Mike immediately yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell cool. anything that I mean I it, sometimes it's an inappropriate time but I'm like this thing just happened it's so you know yeah yeah yes, that's we where it's steering immediately yeah. yes we yeah. I, I go running a lot and I come back and yes. record voice memos so she gets a lot of heavy breathing <gasps> yeah. a, we have yeah, to yeah. so she had to explain it to her husband because you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so fantastic well congratulations have so much fun tonight and we're really excited about this. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me, are you a Netflix binger or do you take it one day at a time?